Hey everyone, Christina here. Welcome to day 12 of the holiday card series. Today I'm going to be using a few products from W Plus 9. The first is this stamp set called Snowflake Backdrops, and I'm going to be using some Distress inks on it. The first color I'm using is Tumbled Glass. I'm applying that directly to the top of the stamp, just uh, pressing that down onto the clear stamp. And then I'm going to move on to the next color, which is Evergreen Bow. Just jabbing that onto the center area of the stamp. And then finally, I'm taking Chipped Sapphire and putting that at the very bottom. I'm using a very small amount of chipped sapphire because it is a darker color and can really overwhelm those lighter colors once I add water. So after I had applied all of the ink to this stamp, I took my mini mister bottle and I just spritzed it three short times. I just want enough water on the stamp that those colors will start blending together. I have a piece of Strathmore watercolor paper that's taped down to a board and I'm going to press the stamp directly down onto the watercolor paper. The reason why I taped the watercolor paper down onto the board is because I'm adding quite a bit of water to this watercolor paper and um, if you don't tape it down the watercolor paper will start to curl and warp. When it's taped down, it keeps it flat as it dries, and then you're more likely to have a flat piece of watercolor paper when you're done. I pressed that onto the watercolor paper and held it there for, I don't know, maybe 15 to 20 seconds. I wanted all that ink to absorb into the watercolor paper, so I had to keep that stamp pressed to the paper. After it was dry, I trimmed it down, leaving a little bit of a white border and then I prepped my card base. The cardstock I'm using today is soft navy cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. I scored it at four and a quarter, and this is going to create a landscape top folding card. The other two products I'm using from W Plus 9 are the hand lettered holiday stamps and also the hand lettered holiday dies. The die that I'm using is Mary, and I just cut that out of some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock ran that through my die cutting machine. And now I'm taping that uh, die cut down or adhering it with just some temporary adhesive. I'm using Tombow Stamp Runner Dot Adhesive. I'm using this one because it's not super, super sticky and I'll be able to pull up that die cut once I'm done uh, embossing on top of it. So I pressed some Versamark ink onto that die cut. Then I applied some Ranger Silver Detail Embossing Powder. And as I melt this, I want to be really, I want to work really quickly. As soon as it's melted, I'm going to add some more embossing powder on top, shake off the excess, and then go back to heat setting it. This is very similar to what I did on the day one card of the holiday card series for this year. In that case, I let the embossing powder cool and then I pressed the Versamark pad onto it. But you could also do it this way where you don't need to apply additional Versamark ink. As long as you move rather quickly, you can apply more embossing powder directly on top of the melted embossing powder. So I did three layers of silver embossing powder, making sure to melt all of the embossing powder on the last pass. And then I uh, rolled the cardstock enough that that die cut started to pop up away from the area around it. And then I was able to very carefully peel off that die cut. Some of the edges were a little bit rugged, so I'll be fixing that in a minute. In the meantime, you may have noticed that one end of that die cut didn't get some embossing on it, so I just trimmed that down. In order to get rid of the jagged edges, I made myself a temporary handle out of some spare cardstock, and then adhered that die cut to the handle and heat set it, and everything melts and all those jagged edges smooth out again. I adhered the watercolor piece directly to the card base using Tombow Extreme Adhesive. I like to use the Extreme Adhesive especially for watercolor paper because if the watercolor paper has warped at all during the creation process, um, this Extreme Adhesive will flatten it out and it's super, super strong and permanent. So you do have to make sure that you are prepared to not lift that up off of the cardstock if you have to move it. Wherever you place it, that is where it's going to stay. I'm embossing the word Christmas from this little stamp from the little stamp set, and I'm also using silver embossing powder for that as well. So I just heat set that until everything was melted, and then I wiped off any of that extra EK Success powder tool that was hanging around. 
the die cut's going to go directly above the word Christmas. So I trimmed off one end because it was still a little bit too long. I didn't like how close it was to the edge of the card. I then applied little dots of Tombow Mono Multi Glue to all to different areas on that die cut and pressed it onto the card. Now I'm going to be adding some sequins to the card. I just put down a bunch of different sequins, including some little silver stars that I thought would look nice. And then I used some Ranger multi matte medium, put that on that piece of scratch paper I used earlier. And then I can pick up each one of the sequins with my quick sticks tool, quick stick tool, and uh, put a little bit of that adhesive on it, and then put it down onto the card. I like to call this card surgery because there's not very many things you do in card making where you're using your hands directly like this. It makes me think of uh, doing surgery or something. So here's the card. I was almost done, but then I decided I wanted a little bit more white going across the card because it looked a little bit too plain. So I took a T-square ruler and drew on a pencil line on either side of that watercolor piece. Then I took a white jelly roll pen and added some dash lines. I did two rows of the dash lines to make sure that it was substantial. At this point, the card was almost completely done, but I thought that that top right corner looked very plain and empty. So I took my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper and punched a half inch corner round on that corner. So there's the card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and it gives you some inspiration that's a little bit more elegant and sophisticated as opposed to some of the more cards that I've done recently. Thanks for watching. Thank you again for watching today's video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That lets me know you liked it. And you can also hit that subscribe button in the top corner. You can visit my blog at kwarnerdesign.com. And on screen right now are five videos from previous years of the holiday card series. So if you'd like some more holiday card inspiration or ideas, you can click on any of those right now and it will take you directly to that card video. Once again, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys on Monday for a new holiday card series card video.